Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Even the sky has limits. Learn the drone laws. BMW brings the Drone Racing League to BMW Welt in Munich. And K-State Polytechnic collaborates with professional indoor football team. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. A recent AMA program, Even the Sky Has Limits, Learn the Drone Laws, is targeted at consumers who have recently purchased or have an interest in drones. Nothing is more important than the safety of our nation's airspace, said Rich Hansen, president of AMA. This is an exciting time as more and more people are enjoying this great recreation. But everyone needs to learn the drone laws before they take to the skies. The focus of this initiative is to educate new and seasoned drone pilots about the two options to fly legally and the civil and criminal fines they could face if they do not follow the drone laws. The first option, the default law for drone pilots, is the FAA's Part 107 regulations, also known as the Small UAS Rule. This rule requires a drone operator to obtain a remote pilot certificate from the FAA, and any and all drone pilots can operate under Part 107. The second option, the only exception to Part 107, is a special rule for model aircraft, which is codified in Part 101. This requires drone pilots to actively participate in and follow the safety programming of a community-based organization such as AMA. This option is not available to anyone flying for commercial purposes. Importantly, all drone pilots must register with the FAA. For more information, visit knowbeforeyoufly.org. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. It's that time of year again when the Aero News crew ventures out for some special coverage projects. And next week we'll be covering the Aircraft Electronics Association Annual Convention and Trade Show live via airborne-live.net. What that means is that the AMA Drone Report will not webcast next week while the entire crew is livecasting from AEA, but will be returning the following week. Our AEA coverage will feature all the exciting news of the avionics industry for both manned and unmanned communities. So do check out airborne-live.net and join us for a live comprehensive coverage of AEA 2018. The Sinclair Community College National UAS Training and Certification Center, located in Dayton, Ohio, has partnered with Consortic in Annapolis, Maryland, to incorporate Consortic's drone fleet management software, SecuNet, to support the management of the college's unmanned aerial systems missions. The second annual Enlisted Remotely Piloted Aircraft Pilot Selection Board meets at the Air Force Personnel Center this week to identify the next enlisted group to attend RPA pilot training as part of the deliberate approach to enhance the Air Force's intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance mission. AFPC has received complete application packages from 134 enlisted airmen, who are setting a historic precedent within the RPA community. A series of successful test flights have been completed by Drone Delivery Canada at Griffiths International Airport, located in Rome, New York. The Griffiths International Airport, located approximately 300 miles from the company's Canadian facilities, is one of seven FAA-designated UAS test sites that provides beyond visual line-of-sight research and development capabilities and long-distance testing corridors within active airspace. That was our Drone Minute, now back to the rest of the news. BMW is collaborating with the Drone Racing League to further develop high-performance racing drones in the BMW Group Wind Tunnel and bring a professional drone race to BMW Welt. DRL organizes the largest global drone racing series, the DRL Alliance World Championship, in which elite FPV pilots race custom-made DRL drones through complex three-dimensional courses and iconic venues across the world. 
As the official partner, BMW is bringing the second-to-the-last race of the 2018 season to Munich on July 28th, taking place at BMW Weld. The race will be broadcast this fall in more than 75 countries on leading sports programs including ProSieben. We're thrilled to be partnered with BMW, a world-class motorsports brand with a rich legacy of innovation. We look forward to bringing the futuristic sport of drone racing to BMW Welt and putting our proprietary technology to the test to make history with BMW, said DRL CEO and founder Nicholas Horbogzewski. The Kansas State University Polytechnic Campus is expanding its unmanned aircraft system capabilities to now include sports and entertainment operations with the help of a professional indoor football team. The campus's Applied Aviation Research Center, which is a hub for UAS exploration, is collaborating with the Selena Liberty to bring drone technology to the team's home games this season. The research center is using unmanned aircraft to perform a 35-foot ball drop to the head referee before opening kickoff, as well as capturing aerial footage of the games to live stream on the team's Facebook page. The unmanned flights are taking place at Tony's Pizza Event Center, where the Selena Liberty play during six home games from March 3rd through May 26th. To keep safety at the forefront, the research center is partially maintaining the FAA's guideline on operations over a crowd, deciding only to fly UAS above the field where the players are wearing protective gear and the team's coaches and referees have knowledge of the activity. A concept of operations or stringent flight plan has been developed to address the aircraft's lack of GPS indoors and includes both a remote pilot in command and a visual observer at the games. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org.